look like Raymond Arroyo is no longer on Fox News. And they said it happened right after he made that comment about Black people voting for Trump because of them stupid looking sneakers. <laughs> and we were all outraged because, you know, we don't have no history of voting for people over something quite that superficial. Parents is over there. So he was a Fox pundit. Raymond Arroyo has vanished from the network airway since sparking backlash last month by claiming black voters would support Donald Trump for president because they love sneakers. A paid on air contributor with the conservative cable giant since 2017, Arroyo is best known to Fox News viewers for his regular appearances on Laura Ingram's nightly program, in addition to his seen and unseen and Friday Follies uh, segments, he has also served as a substitute host on the Ingram Angle. His nearly daily presence on Ingram's program, however, suddenly came to a halt in late February after his on-air claim that Trump's new sneakers would win him black votes went viral in the worst way across social media and prompted widespread rebuke. Yeah, I didn't hear anybody say anything good about that, you know, that remark he made. It was insulting. So, so far, Fox and Arroyo has not responded to a request for comment, serving as a panelist on Fox News, the big weekend show on February 18th, a royal rush over the former president's unveiling his latest MAGA merchandise at SneakerCon, including a pair of limited additional, uh, limited edition gold never surrender high top sneakers selling for $3.99, but look like they're worth about 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, I can see a $50 tag on them, but $3.99? I don't think so. Leaning especially hard into racial stereotypes, he suggested Black voters would ditch the Democratic Party out of admiration for Trump's pricey gold sneakers. This is connecting with Black America because they love sneakers, a royal claim. Now, what does this man know about Black America? If you're making a stupid comment like that, nothing. It's safe to say that you know absolutely nothing. Mm -mm -mm. So they're into sneakers. This is a big deal, certainly, in the inner city. Wow. Wow. Especially in the inner city. Oh my goodness. So, have Trump roll out his sneaker line. They're like, wait a minute. This is cool. I never did that from anybody in our community. Not one single person. Not one person. Now, the segment went largely unnoticed until the clip of Arroyo's remarks went viral. On X days later, resulting in Arroyo getting lamb blasted by prominent black columnists and radio host over his remarks. If conservatives believe black are so simplistic that shiny sneakers will sway them to vote, it shows how out of touch they continue to be with the community. Before those viral comments, Arroyo 
had appeared on the network 29 times since the start of the year with the vast majority of those appearances on Ingram's program, aside from his 22 segments on the Ingram, Ingram Angle. That sounds like porn, don't it? The Ingram Angle. <laughs> Laura, your, your name of your show sounds like porn girl. So anyway, one week saw him show up four times on the primetime show. Arroyo also twice served as a co-host on the Midday Roundtable program, Outnumbered. However, after presenting a seen and unseen segment on February 22nd, broadcast of Ingram's show, he has but all disappeared from Fox News. Fox viewers have appeared to notice that Arroyo ongoing absence, they, you know, the people that view it, I guess that Geritol crowd that they attract. In recent days, several have taken to social media to ask about Arroyo and why he hasn't appeared on the network lately. Did you quit working at Fox? One ex-user tweeted last week, Arroyo did not respond. The network hasn't just relied on Arroyo to serve as his friend, Ingram's on-air fall guy, but pastime guest host. He also partnered with Ingram as a co-host on Laura and Raymond on Fox Nation, the channel's digital streaming service. Additionally, he produced and he hosted Fox Nation specials of his hometown of New Orleans and conducted interviews with celebrities about their Catholic faith. Well, they don't want to have this man back. I mean, he was a contributor. So technically, they don't want to have him back at all if they don't want to. But you know, y'all, you can't fully trust Fox News. He may be laying low for a moment and then reappear. You know, I'm just saying. But please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.